Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Craft Chocolate TV, episode number 34. And we're gonna just talk about what Manoa Chocolate's doing right now. It's a very interesting time to have a business, a small business, uh, and see whatever it takes to survive in times like this. So, first of all, you can only really judge how strong or how well you're doing in bad times. When things are good, it's very easy to think you're doing better than you are. It's only when things get real like this that uh, you see what you're made of. So this is testing us to see how strong our business is. It's also testing everyone in charge to see how strong they are and how they handle it. Um, we're doing well overall. We went from a staff of 25 or 26 people down to 10 pretty much overnight because in my perspective, it is much more important to keep the business alive so that I can hire everyone back. And so that's the current situation with our retail tasting room, which has always been our strongest asset until now because we're being forced to close. So by closing the retail, it has immediately eliminated 45% of our gross revenues. And the other part we were very strong on was wholesale. What, but when I say wholesale, that was us selling chocolate to stores within Hawaii. So Whole Foods, duty-free stores, um, health food stores. And the majority of those sales were also tourists. And so now we've got like 90% of our income that just got wiped out. And so what are we doing? This is a good time to innovate. Uh, we've been having a few drinks, brainstorming, and we're doing things like new products that we've had on the back burner for a long time. We are doing more content like this. We are doing whatever we can to survive. And it's kind of an exciting time in that sense. We're, we're trying to stop the business turning into a sieve, or how, how do you stem the, the blood flow? Because we had a lot of expenses, but we also had a lot of revenues, which then had us feeling comfortable in order to try new products, um, to buy larger quantities of everything. We pretty much put a spending freeze on anything that we hadn't started. And we're going to finish paying every, everybody that we've committed things to, like new molds and uh, things like that. However, nothing new from this point is going to be purchased. No new projects that require capital. So only things that we've already started that we have all the raw materials for, whether it's, in this case, glass jars and lids for our macadamia nut chocolate spread. Um, so these are the opportunities that are a bit on the, on the hidden side, but you just gotta look at the big picture. They're out there. And as long as you can keep your business alive, that is the best thing that you can do. And then having a good attitude. <laughs> I think that's also one of the most important things. And know that it's gonna pass. And as long as we keep making good chocolate, we should be able to stay in business and you should too. Cheers, good luck.